everybody, this is Roxy and I have a um, quick little Dollar Tree haul. I was in need of some bowl cleaner and I was going to get Lysol but I thought I'd try this one. You know the Lysol bottles are smaller but um, I thought we'll give this one a try. Hopefully it's not going to kill anybody or blow up my toity bowl. Um, so if anybody's used it, let me know what you think. I'll be using it on Thursday. Thursday is cleaning day. So I couldn't get out of the store without looking at the Valentine candy. They have marsh I love marshmallow chocolate marshmallow candy. And then of course caramel is uh, always a favorite. So and Russell Stover is pretty good. You know, it's not Godiva, but it's uh it's not Hershey's candy either. Although I know their um, their special chocolates are good. And then these, I don't know, it says original. I don't recall this um, brand name, Demetz. I thought I'd, I'd love turtles because it has caramel. So I got a couple of those to try. Then I, um, I these are great. These are retractable earphones. I use them for my Kindle in bed so the scrub meister doesn't uh, get crazy when he's trying to fall asleep. But um, the last one I had, only one of the earbud works. And I only put one in anyway, so it's kind of doesn't matter to me. But these are really nice. They retract really well. In fact, I'll just open it in case you haven't seen it. <clears throat> but I've used them for a couple of few years now. And it's a nice smooth retraction. You can go any length. Well, maybe not. Go there. See, now it's not going to work. There. I'm going to go there, and then shh, I haven't had any problems with it. Except right now. Anyways, um, and then I saw these. Hanover brand. I've never had them, but I'm going to be making chili tomorrow. So, and we put Bill, my husband, started this. Um, we ran out of uh, things to put in. I don't know. I think we only had one can of candy beans. So he put a, a can of baked beans in, and now it's our favorite way to make our chili. Um, if you haven't tried it, just make your chili normal, Lee, and then add a little baked beans, and it is so good. Then I found this. The last haul I did, I found a couple movies and we watched one of them already and it was really good. We really enjoyed it. Both gave it two thumbs up. It was just a fun little movie. It's with John Malkovich, um, Colin Hanks, Tom Hanks, and Emily Blunt, who's always sweet. I think it was called The Great Buck something or other. He's a mentalist. And it was really a good movie. It was just a fun thing to watch um, so I thought and I'm, I have always I love Matthew Broderick I think I, he's like John Candy for me it's like if he just like looks I start laughing because he's so darn funny so I thought you know how can you go wrong with the John, Matthew Broderick uh, movie so I got that and I saw this this is called The Heaven Animals and it's um, short stories by David James Poissant, or Poissant. I don't know who he is, but they kind of just sounded really, you know, of course the cover first caught my eye, the type typography in that. Um, but they sound like kind of interesting stories. It's, you know, about uh, redemption and finding themselves and blah, blah, blah. So... Um, I'm going to be reading more this year. I, I got out of reading for a few years. I used to read about a hundred and some books a year. You know, acts all the time I read. Tw two books a week, at least. Um, and then a few years ago, I just, I got the Kindle. That's what happened. I got the Kindle and quit reading in bed at night. And then pretty soon I wasn't reading anywhere. And just kind of going through magazines and screwing around on the, Kindle and my iPhone or my phone or whatever. So I got to get back to mag uh, book. Let's see, 
to book reading because it's just so much better for you, I think, than sitting on the internet or... And then I thought I'd try this. It's, they're nice and thin. I'm going to be making a, um, a photo album brag book for my girlfriend's uh, granddaughter's birth, two-year-old birthday. And I thought I'd try adding some of these into the sleeves or on the sleeves. I'll be doing a um, process video on that in a little while. And finally, I uh, there's some place in my house where I thought, I need one of those little things, you know, one of these things. Not this particular one, but a little container like this because I like these little um, snappy things. And of course, when I got to the store, I'm like, oh yeah, I got to get a container. And then for the life of me, I can't remember where I needed it or why I wanted it. But I thought, well, I'll get it. And then if it ever dawns on me again, I've caught it. So that's what's called a hoarder. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so anyways, that's my quick haul for today. I will, I'll let you know, I'll do a review on the movies. Um, because, I don't know, for a buck? You know, my niece already did a review on the Lost City one with Andy Garcia and all them. And she said it was really good. So, and really historical. She said it was a little hard to follow because there's so much history in it. And, you know, um... She likes to, like, clean her house or do the dish or whatever while she's watching movies. So um, that's probably why it was hard to follow. But anyways, um, so that's it. And thanks for watching. Bye. I'm loving you on anything. Wish you could see.